Good morning everyone! Today I have first impressions get ready with me using majority of the products that I picked up from Daya TV which is my MCN. Uh, this is an honest review. I don't get paid by Daya TV or Style Nanda to review their makeup. It's a first impression. Um, so I'm not very good at first impressions. I know you guys were very disappointed in my pony effect but we'll see how this one goes. Um, but yeah, I picked up a good amount of the studio line and the packaging is super cute and I used it all for this look right here except for eye makeup because I think the studio line just came out with lip products, the concealer palette, the foundation as well as their powder. So yeah, let's get this makeup tutorial started. To start off, we are going to use the One Step Moisture Pads from Cosarex and I'm going to use this to kind of clear out my face from all of the pollution and dust that's going on in Seoul right now. I love this product because it cleans up your face as well as tones it. So the Cosrx Moisture Up Pads. Next I'm going to use the J1 Jelly Pack and this is a product that I've been incorporating in my makeup routine these days because I'm loving the way it grips my makeup and my makeup will last a lot longer. So this product is super sticky, so you do have to just kind of tap it on until your face is smooth and candid-like. This product works great as a mask. It also primes your face before your makeup because it smooths out the pores. And I don't know, the way my skin feels after tapping my face like this for a couple seconds or like 30 seconds or so, my skin just feels so smooth and ready for foundation. Right after that, I'm going to use the Oxen UV Protector Essence. This has been my favorite sunscreen at the moment. I just love how lightweight it is and it feels like an essence emulsion. Um, and I just like can't believe this is sunscreen. And this has 50 SPF. I'm just gonna pat it on here. Now it's time for makeup and first we are going to use the 3C Studio Mesh Foundation and this color is in number 2 and the packaging for this is just super cute and pinky. Alright, so this is what the mesh looks like. It reminds me of the Moonshot one so far so I'm actually going to use the bigger mirror because it's easier. One application and already the coverage is pretty good. So I'm going to do one layer again. That was one layer of the foundation and the coverage is there and it's looking really natural. So I am going to go over it one more time. However, I totally forgot about the 3CE Face Tuning Concealer Palette. And this is a color corrector, a concealer as well as a, I think this works as a contour. So let's test this one out. And I saw the Style Nanda models using their fingers for it, so that's what we're going to do because I actually didn't bring the brush for this. But I do have red spots, so I'm going to use a little bit of the green. So I'm going to apply it around my nose because it's pretty red near that area. I'm going to also use it near where I have acne scars. I'm liking how um, it doesn't feel as heavy as the pony effect one. I know a lot of you guys were very disappointed by that first impressions video, but I did try using my fingers afterwards and it was a lot easier to use. However, this is just a lot lighter than that one, so I am liking this palette. Wow. Okay, so I'm done with the green and I'm going to use a little bit of the salmon color for under my eyes because I do have dark circles. I'm going to test the concealer after the one more layer of the cushion foundation. I'm going to use the puff to just kind of blend everything together. Oh, it's looking it's looking very natural. Which is surprising because when it comes to 3CE makeup, I only like their lip products, but this 
concealer palette is pretty good and the foundation is looking okay. So I'm gonna apply one more layer of it. Yeah, the coverage is so much better with the second layer and the color correcting, I guess. I feel like I don't even need a concealer at this point. Closer, I see you. All right, so that was layer two along with my concealer palette. And I don't think I'm gonna use the concealer palette just because the coverage is there. Um, I am not gonna use this contour cream as well because I did bring a separate contour powder for that. And I prefer using powders when it comes to um, contour just because I feel like I could blend it in better. Um, oh, oh, I forgot the chapsticks for my lips later. So let me quickly do that. All right, um, now let's mattify my face using their blur powder. And I heard great things about this. I got mine in shade hashtag pale, and this is the more green and purple one. And the packaging is super pretty as well. I like this because there's a side for purple and green, but I never end up using this puff that it comes with. I always like to use a brush, so I brought one of my Real Technique brushes. And since I used this to contour yesterday, I am going to use my So Natural brush cleaner and just kind of clean my brush. I've been loving this because it's super easy to quickly get the color off of my brushes when you are too lazy to wash your brushes, I guess. I'm not saying don't wash your brushes, it's just when you want to use the same brushes that day, and you just don't have time, I think this is perfect. Sorry, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> it's really early in the morning. All right, um, so I cleaned this up. I'm now going to use this powder. Right. I guess I'm just gonna mix the two. Yeah, mix the two, use it. Mm, not really, it's there, but I'm gonna just pour it out like this. They also came in a pink and peachy powder as well, but I went for green because it can help correct my redness. I recently fell in love with the Lo Hassel one, um, but this one is very lightweight as well, and it gets the job done. It controlled the shine. All right, I'm kidding. I think I'm gonna need a concealer. Let's try using the 3CE concealer palette. I'm gonna use this one using my fingers. I always like to use a concealer after the powder because the powder tends to, um, what is it? Grab the concealer so the concealer stays and it doesn't look too patchy as well because you could just like blend it out. I know some people use concealer before their foundation or after foundation, but I think it works best for me when it's foundation, powder and then concealer. I don't know, I just like the way it applies and looks on my skin afterwards. It just looks more natural to me. Yes. Ooh, I'm really liking this concealer as well. What I love about using the Coaster X Moisture Pads is afterwards, I just leave it out and wipe my fingers using it. So yeah, sorry, that was really gross, but I just love doing that. I'm going to contour my nose using the Innisfree My Palette and this contour right here. I've been using this to contour my nose like every single day. It just, I just love the color. It's not as dark as the Hoola, which I'll be using for the sides, but yeah. I love using this. To prime my eyes, I'm also going to use the Blur Filter Powder. And... The 3CE Studio line, I don't think they came out with eyeshadows. So I'm going to use the Mamongdu one that I received as a gift from Sunny. And this has been something that I've been using every single day since I received it, just because I love how pigmented it is. So I've been using this color right here. And I'm like gonna apply it all over my eyelids. It's super pigmented. I just love the way it looks. And then using this dark color, I'm gonna apply it in the outer corner. Super simple, but it looks like I spent a lot of time on my eye makeup. And then I'm going to use an eyeliner and this is the Kat Von D uh, Tattoo Liner and I love this so much because it's super easy to draw.
I've been applying my eyeliner a lot thicker these days. I don't know, I just like it and my friends like it too, so what do you think? Ah! The mirror is so far away, so I'm not even sure if I'm doing it correctly. For brows, I'm going to use the Pew Skinny Brow Cara in the color Light Brown. It's super easy to use and easy to control because the brush or the bristle isn't as thick. So I just love using this product. Yay! Okay, now it's time for contour and I'm going to use the Benefit Chicathon just because I'm comfortable with it using the Real Techniques brush, which I have been loving, um, using the Hula. Alright, and for blush, I'm going to use the 3CE Blush Cushion, and I think this is a new product. It's not from the 3CE Studio line, but I've never seen their blush cushions before. And personally, I like using cushion blushers just because it's super easy to blend everything. When it comes to contour, I like using powder, but for blush, cushion is my favorite way. And then I just love how small the puffs are. And this is in color coral. I tend to go for peachy and coral colors when I apply blush because pink is just too overwhelming for me. So I'm gonna use coral. Ooh, everything is new. I'm gonna apply a little bit of it because, oh, that's really pigmented. Oh shoot, I did not expect this. I did not expect it to be this pigmented. Oh, but it applies very, mm, yes. It definitely applied too much, but it feels very cool. And finally, we're going to apply the lip product, and this is the 3C Studio Velvet Cream Lip and Pencil. I use this pretty much every single day when I was in Europe, and it's just convenient because there's a lip pencil and a matte lip at the end and I'm just going to use this product using the liner I'm going to just blend it together if you guys were curious about which color this is this is in hashtag warmy warmy and this is my favorite 3c velvet cream lip and pencil all right so that's it for my makeup look uh, first impressions I am loving the mesh foundations just because it's very lightweight the other cushions that I've tried from style Nanda and also foundations just felt really heavy but I don't know something about mesh foundations I reviewed the moonshot one recently and I just fell in love with it so so far pretty good I'll definitely give you guys an update on it in the future as for the concealer palette I did enjoy using the concealer because it did cover up my scars and blemishes with the color correcting I'm not really into that because it's an extra step in my makeup routine however compared to the pony one that I've tried I liked it because it didn't feel like a moisturizer with ponies I noticed that if I accidentally um, pressed a little too hard it would dent the product but it didn't happen to the 3CE version so I'll definitely test this out as well I'm gonna quickly touch up using the blur powder because I'm noticing that I look very shiny. I like how it controls the shine. It's very lightweight compared to the Innisfree No Sebum Powder. Um, compared to the Low Hassel one that I've been into, um, I can't really tell the difference at the moment, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. But yeah, definitely a great powder. The cushion blush it didn't feel any different to the other ones I've tried from Iope, I think a Pew as well. Uh, but yeah, I love the color and I also have the pink and peach version as well. So we'll see how I feel about those two colors as well. And the only thing that I feel like I can give you guys a in-depth review of is this lip pencil right here because I did try it out in Europe. The other ones were all first impressions, so stay tuned for like an update. But this lip product, I think it's very convenient because there's a lip pencil as well as a liquid lip at the end. However, something about this applicator right here, 
Um, I usually don't have the problem of getting lipstick on my teeth, but whenever I use this because it's kind of dented, I would get it in my inner lips so it would sometimes transfer onto my teeth. So I guess I would recommend that you guys do the fingertip if you guys don't know what that is. It's basically using your finger and going like that so all of the lipstick around that area will transfer onto your finger instead so I definitely recommend that you do that but for the lip formula itself I do like it it wasn't as drying as the Colourpop ones that I've tried so I do want to recommend it I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions get ready with me Style Nanda I usually like their clothes and lipstick but this time around I enjoyed using their palette as well as their mesh cushion foundation I have tried their foundations before and the coverage is amazing however it just felt very cakey and heavy on my skin but this one feels very light and I am feeling very comfortable with my face right now so um, yeah I hope you guys found this helpful and enjoyable um, don't worry I will be giving you guys an updated review on them in a monthly beauty review and I'll see you guys in my next video. Annyeong!